though when you have a kid and all your dreams and hopes just go right out the window? What went out the window? You do everything exactly the same. What do you think? Should we have sex tonight? Ugh. Sounds awful. I'm just really constipated. Do you really want to? Well, now. Why do we fight? We never have to fight. But you're such a dick sometimes. I know I am a dick sometimes. People think I'm so nice, but I'm such a dick. Thank you for admitting that. I thought it would be interesting to do a movie about a 40-year-old couple. They're trying to make everything better, and the more they try, the more things fall apart. Don't do that! What am I doing? Don't fart in the bed! And then I realize, oh, it should just be Pete and Debbie from Knock Up. Why does it say 38 and not 40? Because your mom wants to be 38. Let's not mention it again. Pete and Debbie have been married now for 14 years, and they really love each other, but are struggling with having that kind of closeness. What's the matter? You just took a Viagra to have sex with me. I thought you'd think it was fun for me to supersize it for once. That is the worst birthday present you could ever give someone. You don't tell her that you used Viagra. I think that's even on the warning label. Life just feels different, being married with a family. It's better in some ways and worse in others. You can't watch Lost, got it? You let an eight-year-old watch South Park. That's a cartoon. Yeah, with dicks in it. Debbie really feels like she can make life better. She can just force it to happen. Let's just choose to be happy. But sticking with it is like the hardest thing in the world to do. Hey, I'm Sadie's mom. Did you write something nasty on my daughter's Facebook page? No, man, not at me. You look like a miniature Tom Petty. Debbie told my son that he looked like Tom Petty in a negative way. Who's Tom Petty? Are you fucking kidding me? Can you please not talk like that, Catherine? Music Man is rehearsing next door. Sorry, fucking Music Man. And Pete's worried because his career is not going well. We sold how many? 612. There's no zeros after that? And at this point, I'm dealing with my father. Hey, buddy. You should stop letting your dad make you feel guilty. I can't lend you any more money. Your mother wanted you aborted. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have unresolved issues from your past with your parents. It's fun to play with. You sound just like Sadie. Your daughter. You're younger? The big one. You're older. I know, I know that. Don't let 40 hit you like it's 40. Are those real? Yeah. Do you want to touch them? I feel like I could put a glass of wine on this one and jiggle this one, and the wine wouldn't fall down. You know, you have this moment in your life where you think, this is what we did. This is our family, and this is our jobs, and these are our kids, and how are we getting along? You're being stupid. This is BS. You're acting like a bee. How do you make it work? You're so mean since your body got weird. What I love about the story is that it unfolds in the way that life does. We need to have more passion. There's a lot of pressure and stress. Do you want to have sex now? Oh, no, not right now. They just took a shower. I don't want to ruin it. But they know that there's light at the end of the tunnel if they just stick with it. It's so insane. It kind of makes sense. And you have to accept how much you're going to fail. You know, I brought a magic cookie. I don't feel anything. Do you? Because you can only be happy by letting go a little bit. I think this room has rodents. I just saw it. Yeah, you see my starfish? What if I put my starfish? <laughs>